let's go ahead and I'll take him up to the trailer and show you a little bit of the control and, and why we need it. I want to be able to stand right here next to this door and I want to be able to send him up to the trailer. I want to leave him a little bit of slack and I want to reward him for looking at the trailer. So you can see that he's reading my body language and now that's where he's coming into my space a little bit and you'll see that my left hand actually moved him back out of my space. And this is what the conversation should look like between you and your horse. I'm okay with him standing here and exploring it and looking around. There you saw him look off to the right hand side of the trailer and he considered possibly going off this direction. What you should notice is even though he's questioning this new trailer and even though we're having this conversation, you've never seen him do anything that violated my safety. You can see that I'm holding this hand up a little bit high so that I keep the line off the ground. He's basically kind of checking out the flooring and, and seeing how it's going. I'm going to show you in just a few minutes, I want to make a comment here, if your horse loads by just two feet up there, it's a good thing. Let him relax. Let him stand there because if you rush him into the trailer at that point, you may have trouble backing him off from the trailer. You can see him looking around in there. Sometimes he's looking for guidance from me. You'll see that that little finger wave right there pushed his head back into the trailer. I'm happy that he's going slow motion. I'm going to give him just a little bit more guidance there by reaching up and touching him. And the biggest thing I hope that you see in all of this is how he was very much looking to me for guidance, but I also wasn't rushing him. Once your horse loads, he should choose to stay on the trailer. Depending on how your trailer is set up and what your comfort level is, you can walk in to get that horse off the trailer. You could have somebody open up the front window in front of the horse, uh, or you can go ahead and, and if, if the trailer will allow, you can actually try to back him, you can, you can pull him back off. So he's looking like he's figuring out the, the backward step because he's following that rope backwards just a little bit there. Depending on how your horse is trained and how your trailer is set up, sometimes you can ask them to back off like this, especially on a straight load trailer. The backing off is going to go pretty well like that. There are many options when you're loading and unloading your horse. For example, you could lead the horse onto the trailer. If I were using a six horse trailer and I were walking the horse all the way to the far end, then a lot of times I'll lead them in. One of the main reasons that we stand here at this corner and send the horse in is because we have more power to control their body from here than we do from leading them.